Hi again! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Aura and this is still a video about picking the best pre-med course especially for aspiring doctors here in the Philippines. In part 1 link down below, I gave you some tips on how to be practical in picking your course and your school. And I mentioned factors related to time, money, duration, convenience, all that practical adult stuff that you have to consider. But here in part 2, it's going to be a little different. I will teach you why you should be more personal in this decision making because sabi nga nila, diba, follow your heart. But for those who have no idea what their heart is saying, I will give you some actionable tips on how you can find out. If you're interested, keep on watching. Let me first start by saying that I truly, really, really appreciate it every time I read comments from people who share their own experiences. We're actually starting to become a little community of aspiring and surviving doctors just like what I always say. Yeah! But, but, but no matter what we say, at the end of the day, what's important is you study the course that you really want to study. A lot of you think that pre-med is called pre-med for a reason. You've been told that in pre-med, you have to have a good class around, find a way to involve yourself in extracurriculars, research, volunteer work. You have to find ways to stand out during your med school application, and you have to have a good background so that you'll find it easier in med school somehow. That is all sound advice, and I will agree to an extent. But now that I think about it, is that all there is to pre-med? If I could go back in time, I would just tell my college self this advice. Ara, you're not just a pre-med student, you're a college student. And more than anything, college should be a time for growth. As a college student that will possibly go to med school after, they only have three goals. Number one is to have good study habits. Number two, keep your records clean. And number three, the most important of all, have a memorable, life-changing, epic college life that will make you love learning so much that you'll want to do it for the rest of your life. That's it. And guess what? You can do all that no matter what pre-med course you take. So why not just pick any pre-med course that you really want to study, diba? Right? Pick a course wherein you'll be enthusiastic and curious and appreciative and excited. Anything, as long as that's your decision. Because the importance of that is no matter what happens, no matter how hard it gets, you'll always find a way to keep on going. Believe me, I've been there. It's so hard to do things that you don't want to do that you were just forced to do. But if you yourself play a role in this decision, you'll have no one else to blame but yourself and anyway just look at it this way because based on my experience if you're determined enough one way or another you'll end up in med school anyway and there's no amount of pre-med background to give you a clear advantage why med school is hard enough as it is and no one will ever be prepared for it and i'm not scaring you okay sure it's gonna be easier if you have a background in for example microbiology because during the exams you won't struggle remembering the names of the microorganisms anymore. But so what? Everyone will adjust eventually. It will just be difficult at the start, but once you're already in it and you've adjusted, it will all level out. I'm not scaring you. I just want you to reconsider your goals in picking your pre-med. If you'll end up in med school anyway, wouldn't you want to spend your college years just learning about the other things that interest you, meeting new people, and developing yourself holistically. Pick a course, any course, as long as the decision comes from you, okay? Now, 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 how, 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 how? You have no idea yet what you're interested in, or maybe you do, you just don't want to admit it to yourself. At least you know about your choices, right? Now, for example, you're considering, say, physical therapy. GMG Google Mo Girl. Search for the course curriculum of physical therapy. It should be in the university website or somewhere. And look at the subjects that you're about to study. Does it excite you? Does it scare you? Does it make you curious at least? Good. 
those are good signs of interest. Next, why don't you try searching for actual people studying physical therapy right now? If you don't know where to start, my suggestion is look up the student org of PT in the school that you want to go to. Check their Facebook page. What is the student life like? What are their activities? What about the students themselves? What do they find exciting enough to post on social media? What do they rant about on Twitter? Put yourself in their shoes. You're gonna be in their shoes, right? You're gonna be them in the near future. Do you like what you see? If you do, then good. Lastly, try and take a good look at yourself. What really interests you? Check out the things that you keep on doing even if you have to do something else. What do you like to waste your time on? What do you like to talk about with your friends? What makes you want to listen when someone else is talking about it instead? What do you often like, share, and double tap on social media? What inspires you? Who are the people that you follow? Who are the people that you look up to and what do they do? Ask your parents, ask your friends, what do they think are you good at? What do they see that you don't see? That is your personality. Those are your interests. Now, if there's any way that that could be related to any pre-med course you're considering, then take that course and you won't regret it. I will end this now by sharing with you my favorite quote back when I was in college going into med school. That was a really important crossroads in my life and this is what made me excited. Don't ask yourself what the world needs. Ask yourself what makes you come alive and go do that because what the world needs are people who have come alive. That's it for now. I know not a lot of YouTubers will ask you this, but I would specifically like to ask you this, that if you like this video or any of my other videos before, please, please share, share, share using the share buttons down below. Why? Because if you share this in your social media circle, then I will hopefully reach more people like you who are interested in the topics that I talk about, right? I would really like to welcome more like-minded hustlers in this channel, the Vaganan Tayo. So thank you. And I hope you comment, like, and subscribe if you haven't yet. I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.